Yesterday, we just had a Nintendo Indie World Direct with 20 minutes of new and exciting games that will be heading to the Switch, hopefully sometime soon. And I want to share with you 9 cozy games that we got to see during that time that I thought you would all enjoy. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit the little like button and subscribe for more cozy content just like this. Alright, let's get started. They started the direct off with an amazing game that so many people, myself included, are super excited for, and that is Little Kitty Big City. Will you make your way home, or will you explore what the big city has to offer first? I mean, getting home is obviously your main priority. Obviously. Well, it's one of your priorities. Maybe more of a guideline? It's definitely on your to-do list somewhere, but first, exploration. The game honestly looks so adorable. If you ever played Stray, you also play as a cat where you get to wander the streets. And in this game, this is a much more relaxed version of that. You get to cause mischief as well as dress the cat in a super cute hats. I mean, how adorable is that? The next game is Refine Self, The Personality Test. This is my first time hearing about this game, but it definitely has a unique take on things and is more of a test rather than a game, but still has managed to mix those two aspects together to create this one-of-a-kind game. You are an android. The story begins with you standing at the grave of a doctor who created you. The world is populated by robots in various forms, created for numerous purposes. Travel to places key to your memories of the doctor, interact with the robots, and unravel the secrets behind the future the doctor sought and what you were entrusted with. Go wherever you feel like, converse, investigate, play mini games, simply play as you please. There are no game overs, and there's no right or wrong way to progress. With each action you take, your personality will be analyzed. And once your analysis is 100% complete, you have beaten the game. Your personality results will then be revealed. And of course, if you want to learn more about your personality, you can play again or just even to learn more about the story itself. And the next game is called Sticky Business. I've seen so much about this game and it just looks so cute. I wasn't able to play the demo for this one during Steam's Next Fest, but for those who were really looking forward to Sticky Business, it actually released yesterday on April 17th, right after the Indie World Showcase happened. If you haven't heard of Sticky Business before though, it's a creative, relaxing 2D game developed by Spell Garden Games, and you will be able to create your very own stickers, pack orders, and listen to the stories of customers. It's kind of almost like having a shop on Etsy in a way if you want to look at it that way, and I honestly think that it's just so cute and super relaxing and I love the style and the uniqueness of the game overall. And Valley Peaks is the next one and you get to play as a cute frog exploring mountains with the beautiful landscape all around you. In this riveting first person climbing platformer, each mountain is like a puzzle and it's your job to make your way to the very top of every ridge to place radio towers for the froggy inhabitants of Valley Peaks. Overcome challenges such as climbing rocks, airless spikes, moving minecarts, and much more as you strive to complete your mission, all while escaping the hustle and bustle of the city. Along the way, explore this gorgeous, wholesome mountain paradise, all while getting to know the amphibian folks who call Valley Peaks home. Join a climbing club and fill up stamp cards to snag some sweet upgrades such as a glider while earning gold mushrooms to trade with you as you strive to complete every mountain route. It's time to climb. Next we have Europa. I've actually talked about this game a few times before and it's set to hopefully release sometime this year, but we haven't been given an actual date yet. Europa is a peaceful game of adventure, exploration, and meditation. On the moon Europa, a lush terraform paradise in Jupiter's shadow, an android named Z sets out in search of answers. Run, glide, and fly across the landscape, solve mysteries in the ruins of a fallen utopia, and discover the story of the last human alive. As you travel, you'll gradually upgrade the capabilities of your Zephyr jetpack 
boosting yourself further through the air until you can flow freely into the sky. This looks like such a wholesome and breathtaking game with all the amazing scenery and places you can explore and adventures that you can take along the way. I'm definitely looking forward to this game. Next, we have Stitch. Stitch is a casual puzzle game with embroidery on a numbered grid. The main objective is to fill in the level's areas with no gaps to complete hoops. Stitch lets you create beautiful embroidery patterns by solving levels and hoops of various difficulties and sizes. It's easy to learn, but hard to master. Stitch up all the beautiful landscapes, plants, animals, objects, and so much more. And if you'd like to go back to each level and redo them again, you are more than welcome to. And the next game is called Shim. This is a game that I've heard about a long time ago and was super excited about it because it's very different and yet super cute. Shim is a game about jumping from shadow to shadow in a relaxing and lively environment. A shim is a soul and spirit of an object, thing, or living being. Everything in the world has one. A shim should never be separated from their thing. And this does happen to your shim. This shim who is attached to a human being is separated from them early on in the game. And can you bring them back to him before it's too late? This 3D platformer takes elements of light, shadow, and animation and adds them directly to the gameplay. And I honestly think this is such a cool concept, being able to jump from one shadow to another and trying to find your way back to the human from where you have separated from. I'm excited for this one. Let me know down in the comments which games from here got you excited and you can't wait for their release. Next we have Duck Detective The Secret Salami. I actually got to try out this demo for this game and it was such an adorable little demo to play through and I can't wait to play through the rest. Solving crime is no walk in the pond. You are a down on his luck detective who also happens to be a duck. Use your powers of deduction to inspect evidence, fill in the blanks, and bust the case wide open. In a narrative mystery adventure where nothing is quite as it seems, inspect and interview the suspects and solve the case. If you are excited for this one to release, it'll be on my monthly videos list for next month, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. And the last game we have is Another Crab's Treasure. This hasn't released yet, but it will be out in about a week or so on April 25th. Another Crab's Treasure is a Souls-like adventure set in a crumbling underwater world. As Krill the Hermit Crab, you'll need to wear the trash around you as shells to withstand attacks from enemies many times your size. Embark on an epic treasure hunt to buy back your repossessed shell and discover the dark secrets behind the polluted ocean. I am loving seeing more games like this where you get to play as another animal or creature in their world and get to explore and experience what it's like to be that animal and I think that's really neat. But that is going to be all for this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments, if you plan on picking any of these up or even just adding them to your wish list for a later date. Don't forget to leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing rest of your day. Bye!